Welcome to Unit HQ Leicester. This is the Biotechnical Research and Development Centre for the Midlands. I am Sergeant Hannant, and our commanding officer here is Captain Smith. Now, as we are a secure, a secure facility, and you're about to take the tour, we have a few rules for you to follow. So if you please watch this video carefully, then we'll get on with the tour. Safe and secure future, we serve. Health and safety fire procedures. Listen to all advice and information you are given. Follow your unit representative at all times and for your safety follow all orders given. Do not touch any research materials unless invited to do so. Classified information must remain classified. In the event of an emergency, please follow instruction given to safely leave the facility by the nearest fire exit. For any reason you wish to exit this base, please give the code word ESCAPE to any unit staff and you will be escorted off the premises. The following information has been deemed classified. The National Space Centre is not only an amazing tourist attraction, but was built as cover for the real truth. Unit found a rip in the space-time continuum, in the area located at the top of the rocket tower. Beyond the hole lies access to parallel worlds and universes. In between these worlds, there is darkness, dead space, the void. This facility was created to research control and respond to anything that decides to venture through. Right, that just about covers everything. It's time to take the tour. Stay back. Stay back. Don't give me a hand for this. Can we have that locked up, please? Sorry, about this. Be rolled in the lab. Put it in the containment field, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Corporal Fulcher, will you take these people through to the control room? Certainly. If you'd all like to uh, stand up and uh, follow me. <laughs> Sorry about that. hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. Uh, we're set up to monitor the rift, uh, monitor the size, the power, and of course we detect anything that comes through the rift. These uh, unique lab technicians um, are here to uh, analyse everything that comes through the rift um, and are specialists in their relevant fields. So Kat, would you like to uh, talk a bit more about uh, your role here? Um, okay, and my name is Kat, I'm the head technician here. I have responsibility for roof surveillance and I oversee all the technical aspects of this facility. Um, historically, we've only really had to build a bit of space rubbish coming through, but more recently we've had a few things turn up which have worried us. So, for example, a couple of weeks ago, this came through, which is part of the gun arm on this side of the Cyberman. That was followed a few days later by the head, thankfully inert. Um, but we're really just hoping that the rest of it doesn't come through at this point. As a precaution, we've had Laura here working on our weaponry system. <coughs> I think um, you're going to tell us a bit more about what you're working on. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, I've been looking at this. <coughs> now, it appears to be some strange scanning device. Sensing for precious metals, um, particularly gold. Uh, <laughs> 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 Don't touch it though, will you? Okay? I don't want you to get hair with me. Um, we think it belonged to an old version of the Cybermen, the ones that came from Telos. They were the most deadly of all Cybermen because they had a mind of their own. Set on domination, if you weren't like them, you soon were. Now, their respiratory systems were particularly sensitive to gold. In fact, it was the only thing that could kill them. So what we actually think was they must have used it to check for... 
What's going on, guys? It's all gone dead. No, oh. Everything's off. Everything's off. What? The doctor. Hello, doctor. This is a unit base. Yeah, we can hear you. You're a little faint. Hi, doctor. We can hear you. Sounds different. They don't sound like a doctor. Well, all was fine until we a minute ago, then uh, reboot, everything right? went dead. Everything's off. The garlic containment field's still on. If you and Corporal no. Fulcher take these people out through the control room, through the portal room, yeah. we'll stay here and we'll try and get everything back <coughs> online. Right, at your service. Oh, have you been riding on that TARDIS again? I've told you before, you shouldn't be doing it. It didn't work out the first time, it didn't work out the second. Yeah, don't I know it. Oh, man. Sorry. Well, I kind of found some kind of disturbance in the wrist, so I locked time with the vortex unit. Yeah, later. Next thing I know, I'm hanging on the side of your TARDIS. Really? Next time, just knock on the door. Yeah. Anyway, then. Right. Really, can we all just shut up and... What's this? I guess it's called a, a field trip. Nice oh, field trip in the oh, middle of a disaster. Is this your idea? I do. Hello. Can right. you just uh, get them in there? We can do that. Right, boys and girls, single file. We need to evacuate this area now, I think. Right. I mean, really? Where are you? We're going to have to go through oh. the tunes, I'm afraid. So yeah. we're all going to get in. Don't yeah, keep coming in as well. How many more have we got out there now? Uh, we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, hold on. <laughs> you ripped off my logo off the TARDIS, Jack. Hey, I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'm not a first stager, so I don't really need it. Yeah, you're not a St. John Ambulance man. It's going on, exactly. Rob. What you done? Yeah. You don't exactly have handles for passengers, you know? It's the state of this. If you'd have opened the door, we wouldn't have had this it's problem. It's halfway through the floor. It's a police gun. Are we all in yet? Okay, in you go. Let's try to fix this. Oh, yes. oh, what I'm looking at. This is stupid. Doctor? What? You go first, I'll go with gun guys. See you on the other side. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. You want to come stand over this side? There we go. Boys and girls, this is my department. Everybody eyes front. 
and well, remember, listen to that, Jack. Be very careful. You know, I've warned you about that before. Yeah, okay, yeah. Then. Oh. Right. What is that doing in here? Oh. Are you stupid or something? Don't worry about that, Doctor. It's been here and it hasn't shown a flicker of life in the six months it came through the portal. Six it's months? Dead. Six months? Dead! Dead! Dalek is never dead! A Dalek can never die! It's always alive! You don't know! Stupid! I can vouch for him on grumpy. this one. I've been attacked by these guys and hit by this one too many times. Nasty. Uh, what's this? That is a cyber shade. Oh, cute! No, definitely not. Cute! Cute! What do you mean, cute? How can that be cute? What a big, like a, I don't know. I mean, think cute, 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 fluffy, cute. I don't know. What about something big with claws? I don't know. Maybe a bear. Would a bear be cute? What do you want? Should we get a bear? Should we take a bear home? Don't be stupid, Clara. That's not cute. That bitch should be in there for lockdown for fall. Bring in stupid things in there. Locked up, it's fine. Oh, dear. Anyway, right, yeah. Doctor, the portal system's completely down. Right. Okay. Oh, well, that's nice. Pretty. Come on. By the way, what's your name? I'm oh, Commander Smith, Doctor. Commander Smith! Commander Smith. Commander Smith. No, not Gannett. You're, you're gun boy. You're a boy with a gun. <laughs> Sorry, you officially designated gun boy. <laughs> really? What's his age? Anyway, okay, Clara, what we need to do is sort this problem out, okay? Because you people, you put me in charge, and I'm on the payroll, so I, I need a debt. Yes. I'm not on the payroll. Well, if I could afford you. Okay, no. what we need to do is activate this down here, and if we can, we'll make sure that baby doesn't come you know where. Okay, after three. One, One two, three. Two, three. Yeah, three. tight there. That's it, lovely. Okay, that's what you need to do. No, 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 that's all good. Lovely. 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 Right. The Well, it's a roller coaster. You really think it's fine enough? Oh, no. I don't think so. Active. Okay, Go to the portal. What? Ah! What did I do I have the eyebrows. Gun down. <laughs> Do as you told. Do as you told. Right. Okay. Right then. Back to normality. Uh, we meet again, Doctor. Yes, well, obviously it's not in the best circumstances. So it's you all along with the, uh, what do you call it? The subway. That's right. The subway. Back. You were messing around with that. What I want to know is, how did you create so much energy to punch a hole through the void? I mean, look at you, your old units. Or are you belong to Missy? Probably the one she forgot about, the rejects. Ah, uh, Doctor. Insults of the weak-minded and the unintelligent. Perhaps in your old age, you are becoming senile. Oh, senile. Fancy that, a cyberman with a sense of humor. Or a cyber controller, as you may see. With that stupid head or something. So. So. Control. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something then. I want you to do this with all that fantastic evolution and all that humor that's in that little brain of yours. I'll give you a piece of evolution and this. Let Clara go. Watch the eyebrows. Let her go. Now, do it. Doctor, always protecting the earth Cyberkind kind knows no such weakness. Imagine if all humankind could be converted. Oh, here you go. Feel then the power. Power. The power. The power. Power, power, power. Power, power. More power. Let's have some power. No, here's a bit more power. You're power mad. It's like you're a fascination or something. It's like that much power, it's gonna, head's gonna explode or something. 
You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Because really, think about it. You need to use this thing called perception and understanding. Because just think, if you could use connection, think of this room. If you could see something in this room with a connection, that would be greater than all the power in the world. Connection. Say this. Nice scarf. I used to wear one. I used to trip off a lot. Not a good idea. And the sonic screwdriver. Now you see, the difference between me and you is this. I'm the doctor with all the ideas. And you, my friend, are king of the pudding bread. Right, quick. We'll have to get half out. Half of you in, quick. Half of you in. Find yourself, find yourself, find yourself. Find yourself. Find yourself. Find yourself. Find yourself. Find yourself.